Yeah, I'm just writing and doing a story here. Yeah. Well, I'm an independent journalist. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your story? Well, right now it's that unmarked vehicle over there. It doesn't even have license plates on it. looks like it's being used. It's brand new. It's a sheriff's office. They haven't gotten it marked. Uh, I assume so. Yeah. I assume so. It's just kind of weird. To look. I mean, all outfit it's like it's been used. It's just, but that's how they come. Well, I know, but if I drove a vehicle like that, it wouldn't. I'd get You're in trouble. It wait till it's all no, that's, I'm just asking questions because it looks like it's been driven. Okay. So that's your news story. Well, it's, it's it is right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope this the government public. Is, it all restricted? is there a public lobby? Yeah. I'm sorry, I was, I was just following you. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm just taking some pictures when okay. I can see from public. What's that? Just taking pictures when I can see from public. Okay, for what reason? Just I'm a journalist. Just okay. doing just check information for a story. Looking at, specifically looking at... Oh yeah, I was looking at the vehicles public vehicles and, and stuff. Okay. We pay for them. I want to make sure they're licensed. Like, like you guys make sure we're licensed. I'm just doing the same thing. Holding you guys accountable just like you do us. What does that mean? Are you kidding me? You hold people accountable to the indiscriminate whims of our rulers by enforcing victimless crimes, yet you don't understand the concept? You need to put down the badge and gun, step away from the perceived authority over others, and educate yourself a bit more. Well, a lot of times I'll see, well, just for example, just walking up here, I saw that there was a, a new car that didn't have a license plate anywhere on it. Okay. So I just checked the front and the back, didn't have any plates didn't have any like new sticker or anything so i just went in and asked said hey you know let's deal with that and then she i said is it trailered here or was it driven here she said oh it's trailered here so oh perfect okay so just you know like i said there's not really anyone to hold the police accountable so i'm just so that's you huh well all right <laughs> part of what i do what's your oh name? i don't give out my name to public officials really i'm a i'm just doing lawful activities so i i, I value my privacy so it's i just called don't suspicious give it man here we go with the suspicious activity we've all heard it and suspicion still doesn't take away any of my inherent rights unless I'm breaking one of his laws. Just because he doesn't like what I'm doing, he calls it suspicious. It's easier to manipulate the masses into shaming me for holding him accountable if he uses words like suspicious rather than just saying the truth. Like, I don't like what you're doing and I want you to stop. You have to understand, this is a PR game for these thugs and convincing the sheeple we are bad is goal number one. Well, what's suspicious about the just fact walking that you're in public? Out here filming well, police vehicles and taking I mean, I pictures think, of them. I that. think a lot of what police do is suspicious, but I'm sure you do. But that's why I'm checking on you. Yeah, and I suspicious. completely understand that. I will tell you, I have no ill will, no Ill, Ill intent or anything like that. I just walk around filming public buildings and just make sure that everything's being done properly because not everybody does that. So, okay. so far, you guys have been awesome, and I have no problem. I understand what you're saying. It's that it, it's you not something wanna, that happens every day. But you don't feel the need to identify yourself. When I say so far they had been awesome, I meant up until he approached me. He is escalating the situation. If I don't cooperate, I'm a danger and start to fit into a threat category. See how that training works and why order following is so dangerous? Now, because I won't give my full name, I am a threat to this guy with a gun. Well, no, I mean, if, am I, have I done anything not illegal? Even to give your, didn't say you did, man. No, I don't. I'm just identifying it. Well, because I understand the suspicious circumstances of this. I understand that. With this day and age, man, there's some crazy people out there. I and certainly I have no understand idea that. what you got in there. I don't know what you're doing. For reference, he just pointed at my camera accessories bag. I just explained what I'm doing. He even told me I'm not breaking any laws. Yet he is choosing to escalate. To this order follower, the only thing that matters is getting my name. He cares not about the pieces of paper that he took an oath to uphold. He cares only about following his training his orders. And people wonder why I don't put any faith in our rulers or their thug enforcers anymore? You gotta be kidding me. I certainly understand. And I looked and in, I've looked I'm in, so I do, and I understand that. And I do a lot of research on police and training. And I do understand that you guys are taught to perceive us as a threat all the time. And, but in reality, the statistics are opposite. Like in 2016, for every interaction between like someone like yourself and myself, I was eight times more likely to die than you. Then if you take out the traffic accidents of that, okay. so then I'm 16. So you tell me your name? Uh, I'll tell you my name, Corey. My name's Corey. Corey. Yeah. Corey what? Uh, just Corey, that's good. That's it, huh? Yeah. Corey? That's all we need, okay. right? All right. I mean, I'm, did you tell me your name? I did, I'm Officer Musson. Musson, okay. Thank yeah. you, Officer. Well, I appreciate that. More non-compliance, and this time showing him that I am educated on their tactics. 
What does this cause? More escalation on his part. Then I try to calm him down and give him a little info to set him at ease. This shows he's just following orders and not being a human. Instead of taking a little bit of compromise, he escalates again because I'm not cooperating and giving him my full name and everything else he asks of me. Then he lies to me, telling me he already told me his name. By the way, the Supreme Court has ruled many times it's okay for police to lie during an interrogation. <laughs> like I said, you guys have been very professional so far. I mean, everybody just saw that I was doing it's even another... Has hey, anybody else contacted you? Well, when I yeah, when I first came up, there was he was I think he was just showing up for work. He was okay. in plain clothes, and he was walking in there. He asked me, you know, what I, if I was just doing a news story. I said, yeah. I told him what I was doing. Okay. I, I actually, by mistake, I was talking to him and following him. I almost went in the restricted access door. Okay. <laughs> he told me it was, so he, he showed me the right way, and I went and asked the lady, like I said, up front. I talked, went in the lobby, talked to him. And, like I said, I understand that what I'm doing is is an, an everyday occurrence right it's so not, it's it's very it's not typical at all and i understand that but and you know from someone like my perspective from someone from my and i understand that and that's why i'm having a conversation with you you know just saying hey this is this is what i'm doing so um like i said i i don't have any any problems with you taking my picture um and now we get the cam back this doesn't bother me i have nothing to hide what bothers me is they have me on several cameras around the facility already this picture does nothing other than try to intimidate me and to create more of a PR picture for the sheeple. If a passerby sees this behavior, they will assume I am in the wrong and the bad guy hassling this cop. Yep, even this is more escalating and order following. I am going to FOIA request that if it's your personal phone, um, don't delete that because now that you just, took a picture. I'm just taking a picture just like you're taking I know, a picture and I, and I understand, but you're a public That's official, so I can do a FOIA right. request for that. So now I'm yeah. going to do a FOIA request so I can get that picture off your phone. So okay. if you're going to do that. If you want it. What? I'll send it to you. Well, I'm not going to, if I'm not going to give you my full name, I'm not going to give you all my contact okay. information. It's not normal. You're, you're, the way you're acting is not normal. Well, because if so someone you're, with you're, a gun comes up on me for just standing in no, no, public I'm taking pictures, officer. I know, That's but it. sir, I'm not. Am well, I breaking? Am I breaking that, any laws? Listen to me. You say that you're supportive of us and what we do, the, this and that, and then, but you continue with this. Wait a minute. When did I say I was supportive of these order-following thugs of the state? Again, here he is lying during an interrogation. I have no idea why at this point, other than my responses don't allow me to be neatly packaged into a threat category. To be clear. I don't support armed thugs with guns thinking they have authority over other people who aren't harming them or their property. Lastly, normal is a word rarely used to describe me or my activities. I'm used to that adjective. But he says not being normal is what makes me suspicious. Crazy, right? Funny, I've been doing this a while now. I'm pretty sure none of the order followers I've met thought I was being normal. Yet none of them pursued my full name and contact details like this one did. And you, then you're going to say you're going to take, um, you're going to request the picture. You're going to do all this different well, stuff. Well, because I don't like. Make sense. Because here's my problem: is I pay uh, your salaries through taxes, okay. this right? Guy is, uh, if there's anybody else out here, uh, anybody know what? He's identifying himself as Corey. You know what? I feel like I'm being interrogated for not breaking any laws. Am I being? Am I being this detained? Not an interrogation. Am I being detained? No. Okay, then I'm going to see you later. Have a good one. You too. Did you hear what I told you? Sir, did you hear what I told you? Sir, are you listening to what I told you? What's your name and badge number? I'm just making sure if you filmed the child that you erased the child, okay? Alright, what's your bad name and badge number? Wheeler 149. I don't I don't care that you filmed the rest of us, but she's a child, okay? I did not film her. Okay, thank you. No problem. Hey, sir. Can I have your information? You can't. Say again? You can't. Will you please back up for me. Can I have your information, sir? You can't. What's your name and badge number, sir? Officer Royals, 150. May I have your name? Uh, I'm going to step back just a little bit and just to let y'all know y'all are being live streamed on the okay. internet. But uh, I'm going to step back. Uh, what's your badge? So, what's name your badge name, number? sir? I gave you my name. What's your name? Uh, I don't answer questions. You're going to answer my question. What's your name? I don't answer questions. You're filming an investigation that's going on. Okay. Well, I am in public property. I have every right to film. Okay. I just want to identify who you are. Uh, am I under arrest? 
No, you're not. Am I being detained? No, sir. What's your Thank name you and badge number, sir? I'm Officer Lopez. Uh, badge number is 162. And what's your badge number? I'm Corporal Wall, 137. All right. So what brings you to the PD today? Excuse me, uh, sir. I'm going to talk to this deputy. Okay. Please so what don't. What brings you to the PD today? I'm just going to walk back. Do you shake hands? I don't. You don't shake hands? I don't. Okay, so what brings you over here to I'm gonna the PD I'm going to step today? back at least okay. five feet. Please don't okay, step toward me. go ahead. Me. Thank you. Just so I can get camera angle and stuff for my safety. Okay. So what brings you up here today? So you're going to continue to step towards me? I am. Okay, well, I'm going to step back again. Okay. And uh, just let y'all know, y'all are being streamed on the internet. That's wonderful. As ugly as I am, that's probably not really Well, I mean, good. you know. But yeah, man, I'm just out here taking pictures of sure. feminine public. It's not a crime. Sure. It's not a law. I'm not breaking any laws. Sure. And I'm just out here. Uh, just asking you what you're interested in the Winder Police Department and uh, what we're doing is. Uh, Maybe you'll see it online. Maybe you cool. won't. I don't think I do. Uh, but, you know, you guys did kind of walk up pretty hard on me. Sure. Uh, for filming in public, which is not a crime. And I am, and I am on public property, so uh, I'm not trespassing. Uh, and I have every right. It's my First Amendment right to record anything that I can see. Eyes cannot be trespassed. So I can record. I can film. I can do anything I want to. On public property. It seems like okay. you feel like somebody doesn't want you filming. Or well, I mean, how y'all, how there, you guys, problem, how you guys walked up on me, and then how you continue to 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 walk up on me after I asked you, you know, just for gotcha. my safety, gotcha. uh, if I could take a foot back, and you guys, you know, you walked out pretty hard, like, you know, and then that officer there, I don't have to give him my name unless I've been suspected of a crime. Get the heck out of here, man. I so I don't you. have to. Can can we step over there and talk? Four. Without the camera rolling? Uh, Please. no, sir. I mean, like I said, y'all no. walked up on me pretty strong and hard, like I was breaking some type of law, and asked for my ID, which y'all are not gonna get my ID. I got you. All right, we're uh, all gonna go inside. All right. Shake hands. Yes, sir. All Thank right. you. Have okay. a good day. Sir, do you work for like a media or something like that? Uh, does that does that matter? Recording our cars and I'm getting uncomfortable with you recording. Right? I, I'm getting uncomfortable with you asking. Have a good day. Are you an officer here? Okay. So there we go, jaywalking. There's blue privilege. You and I would get a, a jaywalking ticket, but uh, LAPD, they're good to go. Might not want to shoot into the sun. Regular folk would get a jaywalking ticket, wouldn't they? Uh, is that 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 was a, a legal cross of the street? I, I don't, I don't. Just curious. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Well, you seem to be filming me and asking me about crossing the street. No, I was talking I to him. Oh, okay, did I do something unsafe? I, you, I, you did crossed. Did I do something unsafe? I don't know. Or, I mean, I, I thought you were asking me a question. Yeah, I, I was asking you both actually, okay. but especially him. But uh, okay. I just wasn't sure if that was jaywalking or not. Is that is that jaywalk? Don't you don't you need to cross at this? No, but I play one on TV. <laughs> peek a -boo. Good, man. Yeah, I'm fine. Anything you can help with or? I don't need any help, thank you. Okay, have a nice day. You too. 